What is up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make incredible case studies and testimonials out of your coaching clients. One of the reasons people join our programs and pay the amount of money they pay is because they've seen the proof in the pudding, right? We have so many case studies uh, that it's almost impossible for people to fail as long as they come into the program and do the work. And they've seen so many people succeed now that they know that that's the case. People like Taylan, who did $200,000 cash collected last month in his coaching business, when just a few months back, he joined our program at 12K per month. People like Gabe and Kristen, his wife, come into our program, they're doing $80,000 a month now in their real estate coaching business, right? We have tons of people who've hit over 100K. Andrew Lamb, another guy doing real estate, doing about 75K per month. Uh, we've got hundreds of other case studies. You've seen them on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram. And I'm gonna show you the secret sauce to being a good coach and how to get great case studies. Because I'm telling you, guys, it's not all about marketing. It's not all about content. It truly is the belief you can create in the people watching the videos by the proof that you've helped, right? So it's really hard to start a coaching business when you only have one or two testimonials, if you have a lot of clients. Now, everybody has to get their first testimonial, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. But I'm really gonna show you how to create a winning culture where people share their wins all the time and a product that almost 90% of the time, if not more, guarantees success, right? Because this is the secret sauce to selling more of your coaching is by showing people crazy transformations all the time. Whether you're a fitness coach, business coach, uh, doesn't really matter, mindset coach, doesn't matter what you're selling. If you can get people results consistently, you will sell more of your stuff. So the, the first thing I wanna talk about is um, you know, the marketing, okay? Marketing is important and you can use case studies for marketing, but when you're building out your program, you have to assume that the only marketing you'll have is word of mouth, okay? So if you build your product in a way that the only way you could possibly get new clients is through word of mouth, you'll make your program so freaking good that people are almost forced to tell people about it because of how much it changed their life. Now, the only way this happens is by creating insane case studies, okay? So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, when I first started my very first offer, Kingdom Coach, it was a good program, and I'm not saying it wasn't, but I wasn't the same person that I am now. So our program, as it's iterated, has become better and better and better and better, and this is gonna be your experience too. You're not gonna have a perfect program day one, and there is no such thing as a perfect program. But if you go into it, number one, assuming the only way you can get clients is word of mouth. And number two, how can I make the program as simple as possible? And they still achieve the result. A perfect example of this is Dave Ramsey. He's got the seven baby steps, where if you complete all seven baby steps, Every single time, if you do the work, you get said result, right? That is the simplicity that I'm talking about, right? So in fulfillment, typically you have a course, you have group calls, maybe you do one-to-one -one onboarding, or if you're just starting out completely fresh, you do one-to-one -one coaching only. Um, and let's say you do a live event, right? Uh, that's pretty much it. You could also do like a community access on Slack, on school, where they, where they get access to chat with you. Simple, right? Super simple. Word of mouth, simple. Uh, and then the third thing, I, I would really just say it this way. You need a proven process, okay? So if you don't have a proven process, you need to get one. And if you don't have a proven process yet, you probably shouldn't start coaching people uh, because it's just guesswork. Now, the proven process works best when you are your own testimonial right, where you've achieved the result you're selling, or if you've already helped a few people, you can say, you know, it's a quote unquote proven process, meaning I think I know how to get people there, and I'm gonna try my best to get them as close as I can. That's a decent place to start, because again, everyone has their first coaching client, but ideally, you're coaching on something you've done or helped other people do before you charge people thousands of dollars. Um, this is what's called scamming, and there's a lot of people that do this on the internet, you know, they sell you marketing help, whatever, and they themselves don't even make any money. So um, if that's you, stop coaching people. You don't have a proven process, right? Go get a proven process uh, and then teach people. So number one, pretend you only get clients from word of mouth. Keep it as simple as freaking possible to get results. 
and then make sure what you're coaching on is a proven process. Now, I'm gonna show you how you know, our proven process works. Just an example, then we're gonna dive into something else. So, how a proven process works is what are the steps the client needs to take to bridge the gap and get to their results. So literally your program is a bridge. So for us, step one is you have to have the right mindset, offer, right? You've seen me write this a hundred times, marketing, you know, sales, uh, team, automations, and then the ability to scale, whatever, right? So that is the process that if you follow what we teach in these modules, you will get here every single time, right? That's what's considered a proven process. And once you have that, and you have a decent structure, really the next thing that you have to do is create culture, okay? So in order to get great case studies, there's really a couple of things that you should be doing. A, you should be really good at sharing your story. So if you're not good at this, I'm telling you, your prospects aren't gonna be dream clients when they come in because you wanna attract them to two things. The result, the outcome, let's say, that you're selling, the result you're selling, and you. So if your prospects are raving fans of just you as a person and they love the outcome and the idea of getting that outcome that they're selling, that you're selling, you're gonna create people who believe in you and people who believe that they can do what you did, right? So you have to get really good at telling your story and that creates the next thing, which is you have to create belief in your prospects. And I might've totally just misspelled that. It looks like I did, but uh, whatever. You have to create belief in your prospects and in your students that they can achieve this too, okay? So if they love you, they believe that it's possible for them, the likelihood of them achieving it is so much higher, right? Which is, leads to number three, community. So now that they believe it's possible, they love you, it's gonna be, they're gonna be surrounded with a bunch of other people like them, okay? This community aspect is so important, and we've only done one live event, um, but we're actually just got on the calendar another live event, and we're gonna keep doing those uh, you know, two to four times per year to really just solidify our community. So anytime someone joins, they're gonna get invited to live events, which is gonna create a long-term community and relationship with not just me, but with people that are also in these communities, okay? And number four, you need to have uh, accountability, okay? So accountability looks like you join the program, now you need to make sure you're coming to the calls, you're doing the course, uh, you're at the live event, you're active in the community, okay? And the fifth thing is culture. So with culture of your students, you have what you allow. So I don't really allow certain behaviors in our community, right? But I encourage others. So practically, like you could have a wins channel, right, in your Slack account. And the culture of the program is for your students, every time they get a win, to write it in Slack. Okay, that's just part of the culture. That's holding you accountable to getting wins. Uh, instills belief in other people, the community celebrates each, uh, each other, and then they begin to have you know, their own story because they start to compound wins. So anytime someone gets a win, take it, you can literally screenshot this and throw it on your Instagram story or put it in a YouTube video and use it to create more belief in your prospects. So you can kind of see how this starts to compound. And we literally have uh, hundreds of testimonial screenshots, hundreds. like maybe two, 300 from different people and tons of different people who have hit different goals. We have documented and basically use them to build belief in our prospects on YouTube, Instagram, uh, and any VSLs we make or videos like this, right? So if you wanna get insane case studies and be better than most people, you have to be willing to put in the work that most people won't put in, okay? This is where the course has to be really good. Okay, you have to have modules covering each step. Okay, you have to make your calls really good to make sure that people are getting coaching. In the course, they're there for information, but this is the thing. Most people aren't missing information, they're missing a transformation. Okay, whether that's a mindset shift, um, you know, just, you can be doing the right thing with the wrong mindset and it not work. 
okay? That's why the coaching calls are so important, is don't say you're a coach if you're really being a consultant, which is, hey, run this ad, hey, eat this macro, hey, you know, text her this to get her, you know, to enjoy the relationship again. A lot of it, you know, could be information, but most of the time I see it being, they need a transformation. Some people have literally came into our program, got saved, and then out of nowhere, all this stuff started working crazy because they were doing it with the wrong motive and the wrong mindset. And out of nowhere, they just start crushing it. Not just because being a Christian is a superpower, but because they had mindset issues holding them back from achieving the information and achieving the transformation just because all they were doing was implementing information. They were just stagnant. There was no character. There was no heart. They didn't even like what they were doing, right? So let me say one last thing. If you want word of mouth marketing to literally add another 20 to 30K a month to your business, at least, right? Six months from now, a year from now, and you don't want to have to deal with a bunch of refunds and people mad at you, and you want a product that's super easy to market because it helps everyone that comes in, this is the stuff you have to focus on. So I hope this video helped. Just to recap, word of mouth marketing, pretend. The only way you can get a new client is if someone's telling someone about it that's already in your community. That means you have to get them results in order to get a new client, not run another ad, even though we love ads, right? Number two, how can I make this as simple as possible for them to get to the desired outcome with your proven process, a process that's, that's tried, that's tested, and that works every single time. So if you have these three things and you do a good job of telling your story, instilling belief, building community, holding people accountable, and creating a cool culture that shares their wins, and you post that stuff all over the internet, you're gonna have the best case studies and probably the best coaching program in your niche. So a lot of people struggle with delivery, and one last thing I wanna hit on is if you're scaling, right, you have to find a way to keep improving your course without you spending the time for you to do the group calls without you spending your time for you to have people onboarded without you spending your time and for you to have someone helping your community without you spending your time. And the best way to do this is to hire a client success manager. And I am still involved in the, in the delivery, but we do have Ethan on our team who really oversees the products, right? So if you're a coach, you're already at like 30 to 50 K a month, you're doing all your coaching calls, all your group calls, all your onboarding, you're answering all the questions in Slack, you need a CSM, a client success manager, and you need one bad, so you can get back on sales calls or training your team or out of setting, uh, whatever it is that you need to free up your time to do more of, content, right? Client success manager is a huge role, and the best way to hire a client success manager that I've seen is to find a student who achieved the result that you coach your people on achieving, and offer them a position. Even if it's leading you know, one or two group calls a week and you just pay them hourly for it, and then eventually they could take on bigger roles like helping your community, answering Slack messages, onboarding your clients, and really to where Ethan is now, adding his own modules to the course. So if you need help building out a client success system, right, when it, where it's just you and you wanna make your course better, it's probably the best marketing you could do, right? Word of mouth marketing really is the best. Or if you're like, hey Brandon, I wanna hire a CSM, I'm ready to scale, I'm at like 50 to 100K a month and I'm tired of coaching. Go ahead, click the link down below to book in a call with us. You know how the calls go. We're just gonna see where you're at, where you wanna get to. And if we can help, we'll show you how the program can get you to the result you're trying to get to. If not, you're gonna leave with a ton of value. So again, if that's you, go ahead, click the link down below and book in a time.